everyone! Kumusta po kayo for all the Filipinos? And if you're not a Filipino, how are you today? I hope and I pray that um, God is with you wherever you are. And I just declare God's abundance and um, God's provisions to meet you. Whatever your need is right now, may it be emotionally, physically, spiritually. I know that God is a very powerful God that He can meet all kinds of need. Whatever it is, name it, God has the solution for it. Today, for our video, I just want to encourage you with God's Word about a certain emotion, a certain stage of our emotion, especially this time of um, we're locked down, we're just in four corners of the room or four corners of the house. Maybe you've already toured the house. Um, the top, one of the top most emotions that is holding us back to be joyful, to be peaceful, is called anxiety. This feeling of being unease or worried about certain things that we don't know what's the outcome is holding us back to be peaceful in terms of our mindset, in terms of our communication with other people, in terms of how we deal with our day-to-day -day life. But um, God is encouraging us in His uh, words in Philippians chapter 4. It says, in verse 6 to 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We live in a very anxious society where we get so concerned, so much absorbed with concern on our finances, our health issues, our future, our career. There's so many things under the sun that we get to be so anxious. And here goes the anxiety attack. Living in anxiety does not fit who we are in Christ. We know that God said in His Word, do not be anxious of anything because God Himself is the author of peace. He wants us to live in peace. He has, that's why He has given us so many ways in order for us to address anxiety. He said, in, by prayer and petition, come before Him. With thanksgiving, come before Him. In worship, bring all your anxiety and come before Him because He wants us to experience the peace that He, he wants to give us. Anxiety has so many negative effects. Who would love to live in those negative effects? I think and I, I believe that no one wants to live and stay in those negative effects. Because first, anxiety brings us divided attention and we couldn't even focus to one single thing. I was reminded of the story of Martha and Mary, the sisters of Lazarus when, um, when Jesus Christ visited them in their house. In that story, Mary chose the best part, and that is to sit at the feet of Jesus and being ready to listen to whatever he has for them. But Martha, on the other hand, was very bothered and very anxious on how to, to feed the many visitors. So G the Lord Jesus Christ, with so much love, rebuked Martha by saying, Martha, Martha, do not be anxious and do not be bothered by so many things. So, knowing that, God wants us to um, just be like Mary. Be like Mary, that whenever we have this anxiety, we, whenever we have this anxious thoughts, we just have to just stay at the feet of Jesus, cast it all unto Him, because He has every solution to everything, any concerns that we have. He has everything all at the center of His plans for us. Anxiety also slows down our productivity, meaning we can do so much, but because of anxiety that is holding us back, we, can, we only do so little out of the many capacity that we have. And it's not really good. Another thing with anxiety, it affects our relationship with other people. Now, if we are anxious inside, people around us can at least feel it on how, based on how you interact with them. Are you, be, are you not being the light that God has told you to be or told us to be? Are we being a baggage full of anxiousness that we be came someone who is heavy to carry for other people around us and hopefully 
um, the people around you, you'll be able to tell them how to deal with that because you don't want to be unloaded with so much baggages as well. So, how do we really deal with all our anxieties? I think first is, we need to acknowledge that we have this anxiety right here and now if you're anxious about anything, if you have this anxiety feeling, address as address it by acknowledging that you are anxious. It's only when you acknowledge that you are anxious that we can give it a solution. The next is um, be honest uh, be honest to God about your anxieties because yes, God knows everything before the before any word comes out of our mouth, but God wants to hear it from you. What are your an anxious thoughts right now? And Third is leave it all to God. Give it to Him because He wants to, to, for us to cast all our anxieties, cast all our burdens to Him because He wants to replace it with the rest that He wants to give us. He wants to replace it with the peace that passes all understanding. I believe that anxiety is a faith battle, meaning whether you believe or whether you will acknowledge that God can handle it or not, it's all up to you really. It's a battle in the mind because you decide, we decide whether we'll leave it to God because we know He's all-powerful that He can handle it or to be just so calm in that feeling of you are very anxious of so many things. It's a choice, my friend. God's love is just so enough for us to have a very, very peaceful life out of the bondages of anxiety, of, of anxious thoughts. If we completely surrender, if we decide in our hearts, God, I'm giving it all to you. I'm leaving it all in the, at the feet of Jesus. I don't want to live in that anxiety anymore or any longer. God is so willing to give us, to offer us His peace that passes all understanding, the joy, the, the love that is overflowing that will lead us to freedom, to, to live in a joyful environment, live in a, a joyful spirit in Him, there's just so much joy and He wants us to live in that kind of presence. So at this very moment, my friend, I hope and I pray that you do the best for yourself. And that is to decide to just leave it all at the feet of Jesus, give it all unto Jesus because He wants to give you the yoke that is easy to bear. He wants, he wants you to, to just rest in his presence and he wants you to live in the peace knowing that God is in control of everything around us in our mind as well he is surely going to give us the peace that he authors so um, I hope that you are encouraged today and may we always hopefully always may we um, just welcome each and every day with so much peace knowing that God loves us so much and he doesn't want us to live in a heavy yoke or bearing that heavy yoke or bearing that heavy feeling in our hearts so um, have a peaceful, peaceful rest of the day and um, I'll see you again in the next video. And thank you so much for being with me today. God bless!